I'm Nicole Aaron with University TV, and today I'm with Grubby the Miner at South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. So you're gonna show me around this place? Well, let's go, come on. South Dakota School of Mines and Technology is located in Rapid City, South Dakota. You may be thinking, what do people do in South Dakota? Every free moment you get, you'll want to be outdoors caving or rock climbing. Badlands National Park is just over an hour away. Plus, Crazy Horse Memorial is less than an hour away, and it features the world's largest mountain carving. Quick, which presidents are on Mount Rushmore? Come on, you can do better than that. Well, you can come visit Mount Rushmore from campus because it's only 20 miles away. Pretty cool. And here's a fun fact for you. Geologists predict that the erosion rate is one inch every 10,000 years. The 10-acre campus is one giant outdoor lab for students to explore. All new construction will strive towards LEED Silver requirements and all new appliances will be Energy Star products. While on campus, don't forget to check out the Museum of Geology. Students get to contribute by consuming, curating, collecting, investigating, and exhibiting everything here for you to see. Grubby, watch out behind you! There are over 2,300 students enrolled at Mines, coming from 38 states and 32 countries. The student body is 71% male and 23% come from minority backgrounds. School of Mines automatically admits a student who meets the following criteria an ACT composite score of 25, and ACT math subscore of 25 or SAT equivalent, a high school GPA of at least 3.5 or are a South Dakota Region Scholar. SDSMNT awards more than $11 million in scholarships and financial aid, annually dispersed among 84% of all students. With that being said, a year's worth of undergraduate tuition and fees for South Dakota residents is about $8,800, while non-residents pay around $10,500. All students will pay approximately $5,600 for room and board, while books and supplies cost $2,000. The School of Mines offers degrees in more than 16 engineering and science fields, as well as 12 master's degree programs and 7 doctorate. Students really, our students really appreciate the hands-on experiences they get here and the application focus, so every time you can take um, some some theory and make them see how it works actually when they're twisting knobs and, and being an engineer at a process. They, they like that a lot better. Mines graduates have some of the highest starting salaries in the Midwest and are among the best paid in the nation. 96% of grads have a career or are admitted into a professional program within the first year of graduation. On the average, the starting salary is about $56,000 a year. We do a lot of networking. Uh, even a freshman student will get a chance to meet with engineers are working on a day-to-day -day basis and almost every single student will have met at least five or six CEO level people before he graduates. Professors are great. They're really, they don't, they push you to succeed. They help you out as much as possible. If you have any questions, they want you to come and talk to them or they just want to come and talk to you just to get to know you better. They're really good. We uh, encourage all of our students to either have a co-op experience, an intern ship experience or an undergraduate research um, experience. Field research opportunities are plentiful thanks to the surroundings and funding. The university receives nearly 21 million dollars in annual funding from sources like NASA, the Air Force Research Lab, the National Science Foundation, and the state of South Dakota. Plus, with the Black Hills close by, students can study caves, mountains, streams, lakes, rocks, minerals, wildlife, and plant life alongside their professors. Some of the world's greatest fossil resources are found in this area. Hard Rockers, rock on! The 18 varsity sports teams currently compete as members of the NCAA in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The Hard Rockers celebrated their fourth straight win of the Dakota Athletic Conference Scholar Award in 2011. That means they have more scholar athletes than any other school in the DAC. They do it for the pride of the school and for this. The home stake trophy floats back and forth between Mines and Black Hill State University, depending on who wins the big game. There are three residence halls at Mines, Connolly, Palmerton, and Peterson. Up to 660 students total live among the three halls. I think everyone should live in the residence halls. 
Um, it's, it's great to get to know people. I came out here and didn't know anyone, and, and through my floor and all of our events that we have, I, I just made a lot of great friends. There are tons of clubs and organizations to get involved in on campus, like fraternities and sororities, or the school newspaper. But you can also get involved in the CAMP program, which is the Center of Advancement of Manufacturing and Production. The students get to build these awesome cars and compete internationally and nationally. So our CAMP program has 13 teams ranging from a Baja vehicle to snowmobiling to uh, even airplane competitions. What's great about our camp program is that you don't have to be a junior or senior. You can be a freshman or a sophomore and you can get involved with any kind of major you have. We have a program called STEPS which is students emerging as professionals and that really helps to make sure that we're well-rounded engineers so then when we're in the workforce we are prepared for um, almost anything that comes our way. Invent tomorrow at South Dakota's School of Mines and Technology. Another successful tour for University TV at South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. High five on that one. We'll see you next time.